Some jobs are just too tough for your average fast-talking, high-tech gun for hire. Sometimes, to get the job done right, you need someone crazier than a sack of ferrets. You need Dwight Wilson, the crimson comedian, the regenerating and degenerate, the merc with a mouth. You need Deadpool. Since his inception by Rod Liefeld and Fabian Iciesa through the pages of The New Mutants No. 98 in 1991, Poole has been a contradiction among the characters of the Marvel Universe. A villain turned a hero, or an egomaniac playing heroics. A lost soul in search of redemption, or a madman dancing his last waltz with death. Wade represents the best and the worst in all of us. We love him and we hate him. We admire him and we despise him. But above all, it seems that we can never get enough of him. That is why he's one of our favorite anti-heroes in this modern day. The movie produced by 20th Century Fox and Marvel Entertainment comes with all the flings of a juggernaut blockbuster film, but with the modest budget of an indie production. Its arrival was long awaited by legions of fans for years. But is the final product as awesome as its preceding hype? Or is it just a bloated attempt full of empty promises? Well, there is only one way to find out, and we need to head there to get the answer. Let me remind you, we may encounter some spoilers along the way, but I can assure you, the ride will be highly entertaining. Deadpool is a high-octane, guns-blazing, take-no-prisoners type of film. The action is brutal, but it's executed to perfection. From beginning to end, the movie hardly slows down and keeps you fully engaged. And although the level of violence is extremely high, it is never cheesy or overly done. After all, Wade Wilson is an assassin, and as an assassin, he gives honor to his name. One of my favorite things of the film is the CGI and its implementation. While many other films rely heavily on it, Deadpool hardly does. When it does, it does it with a lot of love and care. Whether this is the result of the film tight budget or the intention of the studio, it is definitely a meaningless debate. The truth of the matter is that the film benefits greatly from this approach and the audiences will be thankful for it. As a side note, I would like to point out the fantastic looking intro that it is going to leave everyone smiling from ear to ear. It is a perfect execution without a doubt. The most recognizable characteristic of the Merc with a mouth has always been his famous wit, a wit that only rivals the one from the more judicious Spider-Man. Thankfully, the film is full of jokes, parodies, and hilarious moments that will make you laugh at every chance. The representation of Deadpool is true to the letter, even in the most sadistic but funny ways. One of the biggest challenges movies based on comic books encounter is their accuracy or inaccuracy with the source material. Here is where this movie shines over the vast majority. The film clearly pays homage not only to the creators of the famous anti-hero, but also to a large list of contributors to the character over the years. The breaking of the fourth wall, an attribute given to that pool by Joe Kelly, is not only present, but it is also brilliantly executed. The inclusion of Weasel, Blind Al, Sisters Margaret's Hell House, the constant pop culture references and the funny but clever Easter eggs are all accounted for. Undoubtedly, this is paradise for any comic book geek. I wish every studio would take the same amount of time and care on projects like this. Movie fans like myself will be forever grateful. Ryan Reynolds is not only fantastic in his portrayal of Deadpool, he is spot on. His natural comedic traits alongside his physical appearance are perfect for the job. Without a shred of doubt, he was born to play the part. The other members of the cast are also very natural on screen. Their interactions are lively, fluid, and highly entertaining. Everyone is a character, and it clearly shows. There were a lot of talks concerning the mature rating prior to the showcasing of the film. In all honesty, I was very skeptical about it myself. I was not sure if the studio was able to pull it off without alienating a large number of movie goers and only concentrating in pleasing the teenage crowd. Thankfully, the movie has been a success among fans of all ages, but I still feel as if it was a missed opportunity to allure a larger crowd. In my opinion, there is a good amount of foul language, nudity, and gore that could have been easily left out without ruining the film. I know that many disagree with my view, but as a longtime Deadpool fan, 
I am very familiar with his persona. Mature elements, cool and all, are not necessarily reflective of his true story. Although the comedy was spot on, at times it felt as if the movie was not taking itself seriously. This is not necessarily a bad thing if you're looking for comedic relief, but you're expecting to find a reason to explain the mayhem that surrounds Wade Wilson, you will be clearly disappointed. This is not your average superhero film, where people are brought together for a higher purpose. The merc with a mouth is not one of the good guys. He's just a bastard seeking revenge. There is goodness in him for sure, but he's not looking to make amends for his past sins. He just wants to get even at all costs. In that regard, the movie feels as a good way to kill the time, no pun intended, but not as a memorable piece of work left for posterity. The part where I feel that the movie lacks the most is the central conflict. Yes, this is an origin story and it centers in and on the character of Deadpool. But what makes movies great is the interaction between the heroes and the villains of the story. Although the actors playing the villains in this movie are competent for the most part, they are not well balanced against the main character. They lack the necessary depth. Therefore, you don't get to care much about their lives, their agenda, which by the way is poorly explained, and their personal motives. All in all, Deadpool is a fantastic movie, even with its shortcomings. It sets the standard high and widens the door for more projects to come. It is a triumph not only for the studio that has seen its share of recent disappointments, fantastic for anyone, but also for an army of diligent comic book fans that have campaigned over the years through social media for the final release of this film. It may not be what everyone was expecting, but it surely is what it was promised. It may not be your classic superhero story, but it is truly a hell of a show. One thing is for sure, Ralph Liefel should be more than shocked. He should be proud. At the end of the day, everybody wins. Final score, 8 out of 10.